Hey guys, so one of the main things I use my tablet for is surfing the web. So browser performance is really important. So that's what I wanted to make this video about. Now in terms of the browser I'm using, I'm gonna be using the stock Google Chrome browser for the first half of the video. And the second half of the video, I'll be using Dolphin Browser, which is actually my preferred browser. I think it has better performance than Chrome, but it is important to test out Chrome as well because that's the browser that comes with it straight out the box. So that's the one most people will use. So yeah, let's see how it does. Now, the first thing I'm gonna have to do is dive into the settings here, go to privacy and clear the browsing data. So it's a fair test. And yeah, here we go, let's do it. So we'll start off this test by loading up some websites, checking out the general performance, pinch to zoom, stuff like that. In terms of speed and speed comparisons, I will be making separate videos for different devices like the original Nexus 7 and the iPad mini and stuff like that, but that won't be included in this video. So if you're interested in those, stay tuned for other videos. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So the first one I've typed in there is androidcentral.com. I should mention I have turned off that pre-loading, pre-caching of websites when you uh, type it into your address bar, so it's not loading right now. We'll just hit go. And boom, we're off. So one thing I wanna mention here is Google Chrome on the Nexus 7 does seem to be a lot better than any device I've tested it on. I'm not sure why this is because it's using the same version from the Play Store, but the Nexus 7 Google Chrome just seems to be better than Google Chrome on my Nexus 4. So that's kind of interesting. Page is loaded up, let's see how it does. You can see here it looks smooth straight away. We'll zoom to the bottom. Didn't get any uh, white spaces there. There's white space here, but that's just the website. So good performance, there's a slight kind of, I wouldn't say lag, but a slight delay when I'm flicking the page up, but nothing uh, spectacular there. Let's try pinch to zoom. Again, pinch to zoom, pretty responsive. You can see it drops a few frames when it loads up the, uh, when the picture's kind of resized. You can see, hopefully you can see that. It's a slight, very slight thing, but um, it's not bad at all. It's actually pretty good. So uh, we'll just load up one of these stories here, see how it does. So Google Chrome is very fast, and especially if you have that preloading of the uh, web page as well, it's actually even faster. And you can just see it's actually very nice here. You can see what I'm talking about by that slight delay when I flick it. It's uh, not quite sure what that is. I guess that's the browser. We'll check out Dolphin Browser a little bit later. But so far on this website, it's a uh, decent performance. Nothing wrong with it, easily viewable, not lagging all over the place, although there are some slight frame drops, but let's move on. So next up, we got The Verge in the address bar. This is one of the more heavier sites to test out. There's a lot of HTML5 going on. So let's see how Google Chrome handles this. Some devices will just crash out completely on, on The Verge. They just can't handle it. It looks like the Nexus 7 can handle it fine. Still loading and we're done. And yeah, this looks pretty good here, guys. Now, like I said, sometimes The Verge on some devices just stutters all over the place. You can see it's pretty buttery smooth here, actually. Really nice. We'll just zoom to the bottom, zoom to the top. No white spaces there. It's handling that, no problem. I'm not sure who views websites like this, but it's a good test nonetheless. You can see it's uh, pretty responsive here. Pinch to zoom. Whoa, something weird happened there. Don't quite know what was going on. Pinch to zoom. Again, you can see that slight, very slight stutter. I know I'm being pretty picky here, guys, but it is there. It feels like there's a slight, a very slight delay on this pinch to zoom as well. It's not kind of one-to-one -one with my finger movement. Again, it's not horrible by any means. It's easily usable. It's very smooth, in fact, but it's just something you may notice if you're kind of a performance geek like I am, um, yeah. Uh, let's click this video here, see what happens. Should be HTML5 because we don't have Flash on this Google Chrome browser, don't forget. Play. So that video is playing there, you can see that. While that's going on, performance is still good. You can see the video isn't pausing while I'm moving it, it's still playing. Pretty happy with this, guys. It's really good performance. Like I said, Google Chrome just seems to do better on the Nexus 7 tablets than any other device I have. I'm not sure why that is. Let's try and uh, press one of these, see if we can get these little drop-down menus to appear. This is always a problem with mobile browsers in general. It's really hard to actually get these kind of little arrows to come down instead of just clicking the site. That one worked. So that works, you can see there, a bit of a reload there. I guess it thought I clicked it. In terms of the general performance on The Verge though, pretty happy, very good. There's a slight few frame drops like before, but 
and that's pretty good. Next up, GSM Arena. Again, this is one with pretty heavy pictures and stuff like that. We'll, we'll try and move it around while it's still loading. You can see it kind of struggles a lot while it's still loading. So you really kind of want to wait for the page to finish. You can see we've got a lot of images here. Once it's loaded though, uh, good performance again. You can see what I mean by the slight delay but between my finger moving moving and the script and the uh, website moving it's a very slight delay it's not exactly one to one this is something the iPad and iOS devices is really good at they're usually quite good at this stuff so you can see you can zoom all the way in here text clears up really quickly again with this display and its high resolution display and its ridiculous pixel density text looks amazing it really does if we zoom out quickly you can see there was no reloading there zoom to this part of the page quickly zoom out slight reload over there but nothing to warrant any uh any worry for you can see it again you've got those slight frame drops i know i'm being picky with these frame drops but you can see that they're slight lag when the pictures come in and out of focus so lastly we've got android authority so we'll uh, click go and we've gone to the mobile website so we'll request the desktop website here And here we go, lots of images, very fast again. The uh, Snapdragon S4 Pro in this 1.5 gigahertz is very quick. Don't forget those Crate 300 cores rather than Crate 200 cores in the Nexus 4. Um, if we zoom around here, you can see again, very quick. There's no problems once the once the site is loaded. It's a bit jittery when it's still loading, but you know, it's pretty obvious. Pinch to zoom again, pretty responsive i'll call it pretty responsive i would prefer it to be slightly smoother but i am a bit of a performance geek like i said but there's no problems if you just kind of want to zoom around zoom into this zoom out and carry on you can see that's easily doable and it performs really well well let's go ahead and see if we can play one of these and we'll zoom out here And that's working. You can see that there. See if we can hit this close button. These are always difficult when they're always moving around and I, I'm struggling. Hit that close button there. I like that little zoom thing it does. I think that's a great feature for Google Chrome. So yeah, in terms of general website performance, guys, on the Nexus 7, you're not going to be disappointed. This thing can easily handle the most intense websites, no problem. Don't forget it doesn't have flash, so you know, you can't use flash and stuff on that, but general performance and general speed is very good. Don't forget, we'll be doing loads of other tests. Let's move on to some benchmark. Let's move on to some raw numbers. So the first one we're loading up here is the HTML5 test, and you can see the browser scores 429 and 11 bonus points. That is a pretty high score, I've got to say. Let's uh, tick this. Yes, we are correct. And you can just see how well it scores. If we zoom to the bottom, you can see here a, a bit of lag there. I had to kind of load up. You can see it's having slight trouble with this website, which is kind of interesting because it didn't have any problems with the other websites. And it's a consistent issue as well. You can see they're obviously it's obviously not staying in memory, which is a little bit disappointing, I've got to say. It's quite quick to catch up, but you can see what I mean. You, you can zoom in on this website as well. Pinch to zoom. Pretty consistent throughout the whole thing, but you can definitely see that there. It seems to be okay now, so... Not quite sure what that was about, but you saw it with your own eyes as well. Let's see if we can compare any devices here, compare. And there we go, you can see the first place is 476, Google Chrome 28 with 463. So uh, Chrome is pretty pretty well supported for HTML5. So next up, we've got the browser mark scores, and you can see I scored 2099. You can see it says here, your browser is superior to 66% of all tablet browsers. I actually think the Nexus 7 is probably better than that, but this, this benchmark is a little bit strange, and I think it can be cheated. If you look at the best tablets right here, you can see there's a Nexus 7 build with this different build. Google Chrome 18, and it scores 6,336. So I'm not sure if that's a custom kernel with an overclock, or maybe they've just somehow cheated the benchmark, but take that into account because it's a little bit strange. We'll see if we can click the uh, leaderboard thing right here. Okay, and here's the leaderboard, and you can see the top five web tablets. You can see the Apple iPad 3 is top, which is a little bit strange because um, you think it'd be the Apple iPad 4, but it scores 2,632, and we scored around 2,100. So we're not that far behind, really, and with maybe a different browser, we might be able to uh, increase that score, but nonetheless, pretty good browser performance here. In, on this benchmark in my opinion. I've also run the, peace mark, uh, the Peacekeeper one, you can see that right here. If we zoom in, we scored, 
well, you can see it right there, 562, which puts us round about sixth in the league, one, two, three, four, fifth in the league. And you can see the Nexus 10 beats us, the S3, the iPhone 5, and the iPad 4th gen is top. The original Nexus 7, you can see right there, scores 489. So we have got an improvement, but you think the improvement would be bigger. And again, it could be down to Google Chrome. So as always, guys, take benchmarks with a pinch of salt, but those are the numbers. They're not actually that bad but I think we can do better. So here we go with the Dolphin browser, and this is actually my browser of choice on pretty much any device I have right now. And yeah, I've cleared all the caches, so this is a fair test. I'm gonna do the same test that I did with Google Chrome, so we'll start off with the general performance and speed test. Android Central is in the address bar. Let's do it. And we're loading up here. In terms of the speed of loading up the actual website they both seem pretty similar they both seem pretty fast you can see we're still loading just now and we're done so let's check it out and there we go you can see it's nice and smooth we zoom to the bottom zoom to the top there's no checkerboarding just like google chrome one thing i will say it does feel more responsive it feels like it's a little bit more one-to-one -one with my finger not exactly but it does feel better than chrome let's try out pinch to zoom and there is no slowdown on that pinch to zoom. That is buttery smooth. We saw Chrome had some issues with the pinch to zoom. I wouldn't say issues, but the kind of frame rate slowed down a little bit. Dolphin browser is not having that. That is absolute butter. You can just see that. It's a lot more responsive as well. It feels very close to being one-to-one -one with my fingers rather than Chrome kind of waiting. You see it had to reload a little bit there, but we're not going to uh, moan about that too much. That is very good very good performance you can see if you zoom out quickly it has to kind of reload it but i definitely take that over the uh with the smoother pinch to zoom than the kind of slowy pinch to zoom it feels a lot better and the smoothing feels a little bit smoother as well okay so next up we got the verge let's just uh, load this up now and again the verge is a very heavy html5 base website and some browsers some devices do struggle let's see how dolphin does and we're loaded up, let's test out the performance. And it feels good. Zoom into the bottom, zoom into the top, no checkerboarding there, no white spaces. It just feels better, it just feels better to me than Google Chrome. It feels like it's just a little bit more responsive. I don't know why Google can't quite get their browser right. Maybe it has more stuff going on in the background which takes up more system resources, but the performance here definitely feels better and you can just see that pinch to zoom in fact if i jump over to google chrome right here i've got the verge loaded up and you can see just in that bit it's a little bit too far well, i wouldn't say too far a little bit kind of behind my finger if i go to the dolphin you can see it's nearly one to one there is a slight difference there. i'm not sure if it's going to come through on camera again the pinch to zoom you can see as well there is a difference it doesn't feel quite as responsive it's slightly behind the actual gesture and there's a slight little bit of frame dropping going on as well. Again, if we go back to Dolphin, you can see the pinch to zoom is just buttery smooth. It's definitely, definitely smoother on Dolphin. You can easily see that. Let's load up this video like we did before. Can we load up that video? There we go, it's loading. HTML5 again. Performance while it's playing and even pinch to zoom is still absolute butter. And man, that was pretty damn quick. I'm not sure if there was any preloading going on there, but I, I promise you I haven't been on this website before. And performance, again, has just been really consistent with Dolphin Browser. The pinch to zoom and the scrolling is hands down smoother than Chrome. Chrome is still just a little bit behind in that department. Now, Chrome may have more features like background syncs and all that stuff like the uh, tab sync with your desktop. But in terms of performance, it is a little bit behind. Um, you can see here, there is some uh, loading when you do the pinch to zoom, some white spaces. But like I said before, I definitely take the smoother performance over anything else, so yeah. So I'm just gonna move on to the benchmarks now, guys, because we've pretty much seen that Dolphin is consistently smoother than Google Chrome. And you can see in the HTML5 test, we score 298. That is quite a bit lower than what we got on Google Chrome, which I think was around 480, if I remember correctly. Um, so maybe Google Chrome does have a lot of other stuff running in the background that maybe slows it down a little bit. 
If we test out the performance on this website, you can see there's no reloading. If you remember, Google Chrome did have issues with this site. It kept on reloading it. You can see Dolphin isn't having those issues. Moving on to BrowserMark. And I just had to crack up at browser mark here because look at this score, 1,040. Your browser is superior to 7% of all tablet browsers. This just shows you you should take benchmarks with a pinch of salt because this is a load of crap. We've seen that Google Chrome scored around 2,100 and yet it wasn't as smooth as this browser. So this is just rubbish in my opinion so i'm not really going to talk about it anymore but that is a terrible score it should score so much higher than that peacekeeper was pretty consistent with google chrome actually you can see it scores 530 right here again higher than the original nexus 7 but we are still fifth in the list and you actually see it recognizes it as safari so i guess dolphin is trying to imitate safari and yeah we're basically on the same score as chrome here so that seems pretty consistent now that just shows you in terms of the benchmarks, Google Chrome hands down does win. But in terms of overall performance, I've got to give it to Dolphin. The pinch to zoom is more responsive and the scrolling is more responsive. In terms of the general speed of loading websites, they seem about the same. Google Chrome will probably be quicker if you have that preloading websites as well. So take that into account. But yeah, overall, guys, I'm pretty happy with the web browsing performance of my Nexus 7 tablet. I've been using it for st five straight days every day. I get up, I use it to look at all my news on the websites and all that sort of stuff. And I just love using it. It's a great experience, very smooth and fast, no problems with it. If you're worried about the web browsing experience on the Nexus 7, you don't need to be. So yeah, peace out.